Dr. Kim Hammond from the Falls Road Animal Hospital is here to answer your pet questions. How are you doing today? I'm great. And Good. this is Finn, a little little uh, lab mix puppy, just he's an sweet. absolute little sweetheart. Yeah, just he's been very good daddy. behind yeah. the scenes. His daddy is uh, his daddy's on a submarine. That's right. How cool is that? It's really cool. It's very cool. Yeah, yeah. just talking to him behind the yeah. scenes. Yeah. Uh, we have several questions yeah. for you. We'll start with this one. I have a three-year-old cat who caught a bird yesterday. Should I be concerned about him catching any diseases from it? You know, no, none. No. no, but that's okay. a weird thing when a dog catches a bird. I mean, it's really tough. That predator-prey thing. Yeah, I, that's happened in my household, mm -hmm. and it's ugh, I hate that. Well, and cats you know, love to do that. Yeah, and I might tell you if you if you have a wild animal problem, if you some sort of like strange wild animal, a bird or a raccoon or whatever, you know, you can always call me at the Falls Road Animal Hospital. And I can tell you what to do. There are people who will help you. There are veterinarians who can help you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think my dog may be allergic to something she ate. She has yellow discharge in her eyes, and she's blinking a lot. How should I treat this? Okay, it's it's definitely probably not something that your dog ate, but perhaps something it was exposed to. Could have an, an environmental thing that hurt the eyes. Yellow discharge is significant. I'd go to a veterinarian. You know, when you're blinking, when you have that bleth blethrospasm when you're going like that, mm -hmm. something's bugging your eyes. Yeah. And they're either dry or they're irritated. And a lot of times you go to the veterinarian and they take care of it just like that with a little salve. Okay. Yeah, easy. All right, last one. My five year old bulldog has broken out in blisters around his mouth and chin. What could be causing this? All right, it may not be, uh, may not be anything more than acne. A lot of these dogs have acne and they, they slobber on themselves. And you have to just use little acne pads to wipe around their mouth when they're eating and after they're eating. Mm -hmm. uh, cats, too, they get feline acne. So that's the first thing I think of. But you just never know. Right. You know, and when you're getting something that worries you like that, I, I'd ask a veterinarian. Yeah, you should. You know, if it's okay. all over the place and it bugs you, ask somebody. All right. You had yeah. uh, something you wanted to mention about boarding, well, you know, summer boarding. Yeah, this is the boarding season, and you're going to be looking for anim or places to board your animal. Make sure there's 24-hour care. Uh, a veterinary clinic burned down in Texas, killed 32 animals mm -hmm. overnight because no one was there. And, and this was a good clinic. They just had nobody there at night. Do not board your animal any place where there aren't people at night. There's okay. got to be a caretaker, and there's great boarding kennels with caretakers. Good advice. All right. Thanks so much. Thanks, Ben. Right. We'll let right. you go now.